Anne Redpath painted this around 1942, during the dark days of the Second World War when her two sons were away fighting in Europe. The lack of perspective gives this picture an unnerving sense of instability. Lots of the individual parts are uncomfortable, the flattened red chair looks two-dimensional, and the pattern on the rug creeps across the floor like a menacing vine. The red slippers feel like they might fall out of the picture, yet clutch onto the edge of the rug by the heel. But the final result is very effective. It all comes together to create a really decorative picture. Anne Redpath's paintings of the 1940s reflected her love of the work of French artists Henri Matisse and Edouard Vuillard. In Matisse, she especially admired the way he flattened forms. Vuillard, like Redpath, often painted domestic interior scenes, but achieved an overall decorative effect by his use of paint and colour. She adopted these elements, juxtaposing colours to make striking contrasts, while recording domesticity and ordinary objects. Redpath described herself as a contemporary but not modern painter. Her devotion to her family and raising three children meant she had had a lengthy break from professional painting. This picture is representative of her tremendous talent, returning to work and producing paintings of such confidence and maturity after a lengthy hiatus. Redpath was born in Gala Shields in the Scottish Borders and studied at the Edinburgh College of Art. Her father was a tweed designer and she drew inspiration from his work, once stating that I do with a spot of red or yellow in a harmony of grey what my father did in his tweed. The war meant that travel was restricted, so she was looking more to her surroundings for inspiration. Anne was a huge collector of things. Her interiors teemed with exotic and unusual objects, ready and waiting to be painted. The red slippers was painted on a plywood panel. Perhaps it was the thrifty spirit of the war that made her use the board twice. She created another painting on the reverse, a landscape of a scene near the border town of Hoyk. This is different in subject and treatment from the red slippers. It's got less confidence and sophistication. Red Slippers is a hugely popular picture and widely regarded as her masterpiece, which is interesting because it's really a snapshot of a floor, a personal, almost mundane subject. But one of Anne Redpath's talents was to make something rather marvellous out of something ordinary.